Bitcoin has NFTs through something called ordinals, but how? Bitcoin was supposed to be just Bitcoin. It existed before crypto, NFTs, DeFi, meme coins, and everything else were a thing. Bitcoin was the first coin. There, there is, is no, no second, second best. best. It was designed to only be Bitcoin. And yet one day, NFTs appeared. Bitcoin ordinals use some weird hack to work around a way to store and trade NFTs directly on Bitcoin. And expectedly, there's a ton of controversy over this. Are these NFTs really on Bitcoin? Is ordinals a scam? Is it making the chain more slower and centralized? And there are horror stories of people spending thousands of dollars of NFTs just for them to lose them accidentally. All of this because Ordinals uses some weird engineering tricks to make it work. And today we're gonna to talk about all of that and more because this is Bitcoin NFTs, AKA Ordinals Explained. Bitcoin's code base goes around upgrades every four years. The process is extremely slow and even these upgrades are extremely minimal. These upgrades are designed this way because Bitcoin wasn't designed to really change. Besides the fact that there's 21 million and you could transfer them around, there's pretty much nothing else that Bitcoin cares about. So when NFTs all of a sudden appeared on Bitcoin, this was a shock. So Bitcoin was like, this ain't even my kid. Look at me and look at him. NFTs, we look nothing alike. How can I be the father if I only upgrade every four years and I'm careful? And everyone else in the Bitcoin community was confused and making statements of denial. But after a while, the DNA results came in and Bitcoin, you are the father. So what error or slip up or mistake in the core Bitcoin code led to this? Well, turns out Bitcoin was really careful, but with some clever engineering, there was a small gap where people could directly mint NFTs directly on Bitcoin. And Ordinals was born with two flings or soft forks that Bitcoin had. Now, soft forks are soft upgrades. There aren't any core breaking changes. So because they're soft, they're optional and backwards compatible updates. So the two mistakes that Bitcoin made to introduce Ordinals were set Segwit and Taproot, but this might be a happy mistake. Segwit, short for segregated witness, is a transaction structure that separates the signature data from the UTXO for some added privacy and to compact transaction data. It's an important upgrade, but isn't anything super crazy. So now you can write specific instructions and code for the witness data to be thrown away. And this is called a witness script. This witness script was separately and optionally stored on Bitcoin. And then we have the second upgrade called Taproot. This uses a more efficient Snore signature scheme, allowing you to make more compact transactions in the same block size. It enhances some privacy, adds some more expressive execution like multi-sigs, but this is not some crazy scaling, privacy, or execution environment upgrade. Taproot just adopted a more efficient, battle-tested signature scheme. But together, Taproot with Segwit had some unknown features, and Ordinals was born. This gets technical, so let me put on my technical explainer hat. So with Segwit, you could write a witness script that would be stored in a separate area from the Bitcoin transaction data, but this witness script would still be directly on Bitcoin. And with Taproot, it made it more easier and compact to store data like these witness scripts. And so you can see where I'm going here. People realized the witness scripts could use the op return opcode, which is an operation code added to Bitcoin, which originally was for ignoring and outputting the UTXO as automatically invalid. So if the op return opcode lets you ignore the rest of the witness script and the witness script was stored on Bitcoin, then you could write any arbitrary raw data onto the witness script and Bitcoin, as long as it fits inside the block size, wouldn't care about it and would just store it. And this is the weird hack that people use to sneak on NFTs on Bitcoin. So Bitcoin uses something called UTXOs, an unspent transaction output. I won't go into depth, but instead of keeping your money in a balance like Gogo Diego has $7 and then subtracting two from the balance whenever I spend $2, it sort of works like cash bills. Diego has one $5 bill and two $1 bills, and each of these bills have an ID. So if you just want to spend $2 instead of subtracting, you just send two $1 bills to that person. Ordinals uses the smallest denomination of Bitcoin, a Satoshi UTXO bill with one of these IDs, attaches a witness script, but tells Bitcoin to ignore the rest of this raw image data. This is how they inscribe this NFT onto the Satoshi. Think of this like a dollar bill with an inscribed drawing. Now this $1 bill can be worth more than a dollar if you value the art on it. But if you don't, you can still exchange it and use it as a regular $1 bill. So each Satoshi with this new drawn on graffiti is considered an ordinal. And the term ordinal is a math concept about ordered numbers. So each Bitcoin NFT is ordered and therefore is a ordinal. Another weird thing is that you could possibly lose your ordinals. 
Just like dollar bills with art on them, you could accidentally have it in your wallet and use it. So there were some old Bitcoin wallets that weren't compatible with ordinals. So you could accidentally be using Bitcoin, send your money, and with this, one of the Satoshis with your NFT on it to someone else. And horror stories and accidents because of this weird way that ordinals works happens. But luckily now, lots of popular Bitcoin wallets have upgraded and support ordinals. Besides a couple of controversies, I think ordinals are really important and are really cool. And ordinals opened the Bitcoin community's mind to potentially cooler stuff on Bitcoin. I enjoyed the interesting way on how ordinals work because it shows that you might be able to teach old dogs new tricks. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the rest of my channel, which has a lot of high quality animated videos about blockchain technology. Thank you so much. And you learned about Bitcoin NFTs, aka ordinals, explained.